snow. Today's what you'd call a snow day. Woo! A mysterious package. Voila! A YouTube surprise for Sarah. An engine fire. Not exactly the video we thought we were going to be making today. And it's all because of you. You play a big role. Stay tuned. And now look what's happened. It'll all make sense soon. I love sharing videos with you and I love getting your comments and your questions. And one of the questions that people ask a lot is what it's like living here at Starlight Farm. And you may or may not know what this is. Well, Starlight Farm is the off-grid farmhouse that we built for our HGTV series, Sarah Off the Grid. That's right, we live in an off-grid home located on 100 acres. And when people say, what's it like accessing the property? Well, sometimes it's totally normal and easy, and sometimes it's not. Under there, snowmobiles buried in snow. So much snow. And that's the part we're gonna talk about today, because today, today's what you'd call a snow day. Well, 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 a little bit of fresh pow. Woo! We are in the midst of a polar vortex that has dumped over two feet of snow on this property in the last couple of days. Howdy. And why does that matter? Well, because we're on 100 acres, we're kind of located in the middle of 100 acres. So we're about 50 acres back from the road. We also have a kilometer long driveway, which you may remember if you watched the show. And we are up over 30 flights of stairs. So it's a long way up and it's a long way up. And that means that in winter, our access can get super challenging. How do we get in, you ask? Well, if the Minister of Exteriors hasn't had time to plow the road, we need to use our side-by-side -side vehicle, which is outfitted with tracks. And if the Minister of Exteriors hasn't plowed the road and the car can't drive in, that means nobody else can come on the property, which means that our local courier has taken to dropping packages in bags tied to our gate. Let's just think of that in this work from home environment as curbside pickup. So in order to give today's special delivery, the Minister of Exteriors had to drive to the bottom of the property, pick up the package, come all the way back up the driveway and deliver it to me. And that would be fine, but we hit a little snag. What happened? Ah, something smells burning. So we came down to pick up a package and... I don't know, it's just a funny... It's a burning smell, but... All in a day's work for the Minister of Exteriors. Why is this important, you ask? Well, because this is a really super important delivery that all of you take a big part in. You play a big role in the delivery of this. Why? Why? Because I kicked off 2021. On New Year's Day 2021, I asked you to help me achieve a goal, and you did. Thanks to you, we not only met, but surpassed our goal. And we are so grateful that we have over 100,000 subscribers tuned in to our Design Life series. What does this mean? Well, it's a personal triumph for us because YouTube just sent us an award. And that is what was hanging on the gate today. Not exactly the video we thought we were gonna be making today to share with you fire up here. I'm not sure what it is. It's the cooling fan, I think. So what happened? Well, we seem to have something that's cooking up front, so I had to disconnect the battery. Otherwise, I have a little fire, because that's what we were smelling. It was burning electrical, which is a little bit fresh in the fresh air. And where are we right now? Uh, we're a kilometer from the house. Yeah, and unfortunately, all of our snowmobiles are up top and our cars but we do have the tractor and the backhoe down here do you want to take a romantic backhoe ride with me darling maybe <laughs> yeah, we can follow the road while we're at it okay can we go get our package 
Well, time just to boot it on foot, I guess, now that the machine is broken down. Voila! The YouTube surprise for Sarah. Special delivery! There we are. So from all of us to all of you, thanks for making this journey possible. So much for the ride, can't really hitch. And thanks for joining us on this adventure, because guess what? Lots more to come. This isn't exactly what I had in mind when I suggested we come pick up the package. Normally it's easier, but hey, we got options. And we're killing two birds with one stone. No, this is your portfolio. You've got to clear the road. I was going to just sit inside and cozy and answer some emails. Well, the good thing is, is now I can teach you how to drive that. So you can clear the road. No, no, I don't plow roads. Okay, I do a whole lot of other things. I'm busy trying to plan our next project and I got things to do. Snow removal was not in my to-do list for today. So here we go. This was wrong part of the plan. Well, it was part of my plan. I had to clear the road, so this works out. <laughs> We're just having a, a little snuggle session yeah. in the tractor. Can we be clear here? No part of this is manufactured. I innocently thought it would be fun to tell you guys what life is like at Starlight Farm and to come down and pick up this super exciting award. And now, and now look what's happened. 